Delhi's seasonal floods have collapsed more than 2,500 houses in eastern Sudan, with thousands displaced in the region. Since the start of the rainy season in May, the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, or CHA, estimates that 38,000 people have been affected by the floods in the East African country. So far, the hardest hit areas are Kasala, South Darfur, Central Darfur, South Kordofan, White Nile, and of course the River Nile provinces, while the total number of casualties nationwide is still undetermined. Sudanese researcher Ibrahim Nasser joins us now live from Ankara to give up, uh, give up uh, more updates on the flood situation in Sudan. Thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us, uh, Nasser. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, yes, uh, we are suffering from, uh, from this kind of uh, disaster every year. Sadly, uh, Sudan, like the other failed states, have many problems in, in, in it is infrastructure. Is, uh, the infrastructure in Sudan is totally broken uh, because of many factors. Uh, also, we have a problem like uh, like uh, there is no government before the uh, the seasonal of the floods. Uh, the the government uh, in the past, I mean, uh, uh, start to prepare for for how to deal with this kind of uh, of, uh, of of crisis. So uh, this time to, uh, today uh, now in Sudan there is no government, as you know. Uh, there is no, uh, there is a, a problem, and uh, there is a political, there is there a political problem. So this is why the Sudanese are suffering, are facing this kind of uh, crisis. Can, can, can you share with us, um, Ibrahim? Can you share with us, you know, what exactly it is like currently? Um, the figures, of course, you know, don't look good. But it, it, can you give us a picture of what exactly it feels like uh, being in those areas? Uh, for example, uh, okay, that, that's that's good. Uh, for example, the problem in uh, uh, in Kasala, uh, this is the, which is the, uh, this is the town that I come from. Uh, there is no uh, infrastructure. There is a problem in the in the Nile uh, in the in the river. There is a gas river. Uh, this this uh, river as uh, uh, the poles come. And there is some preparation that must the government do. Today, uh, as I say, uh, this days uh, the Sudanese people uh, there is uh, there is no government or there is no uh, manage or there is no any administration that can uh, de do something or prepare for fighting with this uh, with this uh, with this uh, with this uh, with this situation. Uh, also, there is, you know, you know, the, there is the climate change in the region. Uh, there is the, the climate change, the global, the heat, or our, our region also. And uh, in my in my perspective, no uh, no government or no no one can support Sudan right now. Uh, and Ethiopia tried to building dams in in the rivers and Eritrea also, without coordination with uh, without any coordination with Sudan. This is why the Sudanese people are facing difficulties. For example, the Great Dam of Ethiopia. Ethiopia doesn't share uh, the, the details of the water uh, with Sudan and the, the, the Sudanese um, uh, administration or the, the Sudanese uh, engineers are facing difficulties to to to, to fill their dams and they and they open the door the, the windows of the of the dams. Um. The, the, the numbers we're seeing, I mean, this story is really sad, and the numbers we're seeing, seeing are very staggering. Heavy rains usually fall in Sudan, we know, between May and October. And in 2021, more than 314,000 people were affected by the rains and floods in Sudan. We also have reports that in 2020, Sudan was declared, you know, as a state of natural disaster. And about, you know, a three-month uh, period, period was uh, declared for an emergency to be able to help because... 100,000 houses were affected, 100 people, 100 lives were lost. These numbers, are they true? Give us, give us a picture. I mean, you're there in Sudan. Give us a picture of how directly people are impacted by these floods. Okay, as I mentioned, every year we are facing the same, uh, the same, the same uh, floods. And uh, now, today, there's more than... Last year, for example, there is around... Uh, 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 Forty thousand people are affected from this uh, from this kind of field. Now, uh, today, 
uh, the, uh, the, the UN and the, the UN Office of Humanitarian uh, Office, uh, they are estimated that more than 30 people will be affected uh, uh, from this, uh, from, the, from, from, the, from, the, from the fields. For, from the falls. So uh, I think now the picture is, uh, uh, it is it is very bad and no one can imagine how the people will affect. Uh, but I uh, I think there is there is some uh, kind of, uh, how can I say, it? there is some kind of uh, of, uh, of uh, the, 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 he the heavy rain uh, in Sudan and the heavy rain in Ethiopia, they made this kind of uh, 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 disaster. Now, more than in Khartoum, for example, there is many of uh, people are, uh, are suffering or are, are their, their, their house, their, their, their homeless, they, or they're affected because of the, or because of the, or because of the, or because of the, the faults. Oh, well, um, sadly, of course, like you mentioned, because of the political situation in, uh, in Sudan at this time, you know, the, the people may not get the response that they require this time and so uh we just have to of course um encourage the sudanese government uh, the co one well the current government in sudan to do what it, it possibly can uh but nasar thank you very much for um for your time and thanks for sharing with us we would of course continue to follow up on the situation and hope that the floods reduce as quickly as uh, possible uh, thank you for having me